Perfect, thanks Dave. So we can see we've got the same floor plan open. If I put my cursor at the top, I have the 3D scene. So I simply click on 3D scene. So it's taking the floor plan and it's now generating it in real time in 3D, as you can see here. I'm just gonna zoom into the plan a little further so you can start to see the detail. We can take this a step further with a lot of customization for each client. So for example, if we had an event and I wanted to upload a logo, a client logo, we can simply bring that in place and it'll actually snap against the walls, the projectors or any equipment within the room. I can then reset the size of it. So here we have the logo in place. I can even take that a step further. So let's assume for this client that they would like to send out the 3D, but have a show reel playing in the background for the client. Simply click on the video, drag it and add it to the wall, any wall that you like. And I can then reset the height and position of the video. I'm just gonna turn off my sound, apologize, because it's running in my ear in the background. And as you can see there, it is now playing with the, the video in real time. And also, if you navigate through the 3D floor plan, the positioning will stay exactly as it is assigned to each wall or position. This can also be included with projectors as well. Okay, so let's take this a little bit further. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move this uh, logo down a little bit. I'm gonna move it out the way. And let's just move the background video down. And the thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna drop the height of the walls. So let's drop those down. And now that we can do that, we can go through and set some ambient lighting and some different themes and effects. And to do this, all you do is simply click on the options on the left. You can even change shadow points and lighting. It's that simple. So let's take this a little bit further. So let's have a look at, oh, that's the same window. Let's look at another plan here. So for this plan here, we're gonna do a theater style, but I still click on the 3D scene. I click the button there. And as you can see, it's now opening up the 3D in what we call photorealistic. So this is generated from the floor plan, but it's actually using what we call photorealistic rendering. So as you can see here, you get an absolutely stunning view of the floor plan, full 3D and the flexibility that goes with it. You can simply share a link to a client and they don't need any software, they can click on the link and they can do exactly what I'm doing now. They can't move the chairs or move the equipment. They can only go through and do the viewing. From there, if they want to save it themselves as a JPEG, a PNG, or if they want to share it with anyone else, they can unshare that 3D rendering to anyone else as well. So we can see that, that from the 3D rendering, we can take it from what we call our transparent or translucent 3D through to our photorealistic. But it all comes back from the base floor plan template. So the flexibility with Event Draw is absolutely astonishing. And uh, we hope you liked what you just saw.